Hi, my name is Elizabeth Abrico. I'm one of the writers of Trauma PTSD blog on Healthy Place. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the barriers that come with parenting when you have post-traumatic stress disorder. I think most people know that parenting is a pretty tough job. PTSD is hard as well, so put the two together and you have some specific difficulties that come with that. One of them, for example, is fatigue. But you can see on my face. Um, PTSD um, leads people to sometimes to have nightmares or other forms of insomnia. Parenting is it known for you know people getting a lot of sleep either, especially when you have young children. So sometimes when you have PTSD and your parent, you can have pretty extreme sleep deprivation, which makes everything harder. So that's one of the pretty major difficulties. Another that I can think of right now is uh, just not being able to take care of yourself when you get triggered or when you need to take care of yourself. Let's say you become triggered while you're out at the park with your kids. You can't necessarily sit down and close your eyes and calm yourself down. You have to keep your eyes on your kids, especially once again if they're very young, like mine are. And um, a lot of time, I know I've had to rush my kids into the stroller and get myself home if I felt triggered, which it does not make for happy toddlers. <laughs> um, so that can add more stress. So that's, a, that's one of the issues that parents with PTSD also face. Something else that a lot of people may not think about is that when people experience trauma in their youth, when they become triggered, they may actually revert a little bit to that mentality, that age that they were when they experienced the trauma. So let's say there's a parent who's an adult and this person was traumatized as an eight-year-old and becomes triggered. He or she might start not necessarily acting exactly like an eight-year-old but not thinking in the most logical manner and may behave in a way that, that appears immature to other people and they don't understand why. And so they're like, why is this adult acting like a child when they have children that they need to take care of and it probably looks pretty terrible and isn't the best situation and I'm not saying this as an excuse but it is a good opportunity to show compassion when people maybe act this way and if you are someone with PTSD and you experience trauma as a youth and you identify these behaviors in yourself it's a good thing to work on but also show compassion to yourself while you're working through it because it's not your fault that you experience this trauma and that your brain is reverting back to that moment it's it's actually a pretty normal PTSD response. So even if you have children in your care, don't beat yourself up if you do behave immaturely sometimes when you uh, are triggered. Thank you.